Hey everyone, and welcome to Hemp in a Pan. Today, we'll be showing you how to make a simple CBD oil infused butter using an easy to do stovetop slow cook method. There are multiple ways to make CBD oil, but today we'll be going with one of the easiest methods, which is simmering butter in hemp over low heat, which extracts the trichomes, cannabinoids, and CBD from the hemp, and combines it with the butter, making a rich CBD oil infused butter. To make CBD oil infused butter, you'll only need three ingredients, butter, decarboxylated hemp, and water. For how to decarboxylate hemp, to first convert the CBDA into CBD, check out our decarboxylation guide first. Now you'll want to use a fourth of an ounce of hemp buds and trimmings for each stick of butter, which is also half a cup of butter. And of course, the higher quality of trimmings and buds you use, the more CBD there will be in the butter. Now before adding in the ingredients, you'll want to first add some water to the pot. The whole purpose of the water is to buffer the butter and hemp so that it doesn't touch the bottom of the stove and burn, since the butter is less dense than water and will float. And no matter how much water you add, it's pretty easy to separate from the butter after you're done. I use two cups of water for this to give it a good buffer. And if you're using a larger pot, you can go up to three to four cups of water. I'm now melting the butter in the pot of water, throwing in the decarboxylated hemp. And then once everything came to a boil, I kept the heat on low so that it's barely simmering. Now you can leave this and check back on it periodically to make sure nothing has changed. And if the water is burning off too fast, you can always just add more water to the pot. You'll want this to simmer for at least an hour and ideally up to five hours to make sure that all the cannabinoids have infused into the butter. And for this, I went with five hours and added another cup of water halfway through the process. Now you want to strain the entire pot through a strainer or a cheesecloth, or in my case, I didn't have either on hand, so I used a new clean t-shirt. If you're going with the t-shirt, I have to warn you that doing this will ruin the shirt. And make sure the shirt's clean without any lint or detergent that could get into your infused butter. I waited until the mixture cooled slightly and then poured everything through. It was still pretty hot, so it took me a while to get every last drop, but it was well worth it. You can see here that after 10 minutes, the CBD oil infused butter is already completely separated from the water. If you want to use it right away, you can use a baster to remove the water from the bottom. Otherwise, just cover it up, throw in the fridge overnight, and the next day, when the butter has hardened, you can easily drain out the water, pat it dry, and then store it for future use to make all types of edibles, or you can even put it into little capsules to make CBD pills. And that's it. 